So guys, today we're gonna go from well today's we're gonna go to Belgravia all the way from Victoria Station. It's actually quite a short walk for about ten minutes, five minutes, um to walk from uh, Victoria to um Belgravia. Uh, and here you <coughs> we'll go past some streets um, namely uh, Chester Square and Eaton Square where some of the rich and famous live um, and we'll also see other parts around here also I don't know what that means so this here is um, Sainsbury's car park in Victoria. It's the uh, one on <coughs> Wilton Road. <laughs> you know, um, Belgravia is quite a, a nice area to live in. It's, um, like I say, quite close to uh, Hyde Park and uh, quite close to uh, Mayfair as well. Its um, houses look somewhat different. They usually have like these big pillars outside. Uh, that I'll show you. And um have you usually painted painted white and have the big pillars and some sort of um plant or something outside. Slightly different to how uh Mayfair and Soho usually are. So you can see here that's Eccleston Eccleston Square. I don't know if you can see that properly. That's Eccleton Square. Let me show you down there. I think they got school down here actually. That's where so many kids. So this here is, let me show you, this here is going to be Victoria, no not Victoria, the uh, um, passport office which is just right next to Victoria station <coughs> so maybe you can see that it says uh, H HM passport office main entrance right down there so if you ever I guess uh, <coughs> need to get something done to your passport, then uh, that's the place. Let's go for it. building there on the right is well actually Victoria Station is here behind these behind these walls that big building is part of Victoria Station where all the shops are and maybe you can even see there it's got uh, Victoria Station inside's quite nice it's probably the one of the probably one of the biggest in London. I think it's probably in the top three biggest stations in London. Um, you know, there's places to eat inside. There's like, I think, three levels actually. There's a ground, there's a first and a second. Where they got shops, restaurants, coffee shops. Um, yeah, I think, I can't remember if Waterloo's bigger or King's Cross or Liverpool. 
Especially, I think Waterloo is the bigger one. But, you know, this has great links to the south. Um, yeah, this this will get you to uh, Stan. I think it's Stansted Airport. So you can see the Sainsbury's as well actually. Got so you can see there on the uh, board above it says Sloan Square and Chelsea on the left, Sloan Square up, straight up. And right opposite the station you got some uh, got some shops here you can go up through there got an arcade of shops this road going across is Buckingham Palace Road and um, you got the library down on the left Library is just down through there. But now, like I say, we uh, will walk down to uh, Eaton Square. A lot of the embassies are around in um, in Belgrave as well. So if you need to visit an embassy, then uh, this is where they are. A lot of nice small shops to come out to eat or just in general. There's a nice coffee shop here, just in uh, just in front, but looks like they're doing it, they're fixing it up. So look at the way the, um, uh, the houses are set out from the outside, it's really nice. <coughs> Let me show you some uh, better views around here. So the first square, this one here is Chester Square. So again, you know, there's probably some famous people living around here. They got, they got a church at the end. This is the um, square. <coughs> there's two sides. There's one here, and there's um, the other side as well. You can gain access to the squares, but I think it's only for um, residents. But if you look at the actual, you know, the houses, the apartments, call it, they all look, they all look quite similar really grand inside. Inside they're really large usually done up quite well because 
pretty much everyone on this street is uh, a millionaire, I'd say, if not billionaires. So. There's the other side as well, just down here. See down there. Down here as well, all look <coughs> quite similar. So now let's move on to uh, Eaton Square. I think Eaton Square is probably a little bit more well known than Chester Square. How much are the apartments? You know, they could be... Usually there, there's... Um, and we saw how high they were, so... Sometimes they're in blocks of three, so there'd be three levels. Each level will have like two floors um, I mean you know the prices could be anything from 14 million to um, about 18 is the average price so here we are Eaton Square again so this is the square, you know, it goes all the way, all the way around. And this side as well. And you can see like, you know, they have the pillars come out, and doors obviously, you have to walk through. And, uh, doors are set back slightly. So this, this you cross the road and again it's Eaton Square. So it goes all the way around. Let me take you down this side. Again all these, all this greenery, all the greenery that you see is, is all uh, access to residents only all of this this is all still Eaton Square by the way I and mean, this is uh, a road that leads up to uh, if you go if you go down, down this side it leads up to um, what does it lead up to Hyde Park goes to Hyde Park, Hyde Park Corner. Let me you can see how nice the square is, it's usually you know, kept quite well. Let me see if there's a better view. Again, a lot of um, famous people and rich, rich people around here. So, there's an embassy there. I don't know what that flag is. Maybe you can tell me. For those of you that know. this side as well. There's always some construction work going on uh, as everyone's improving their their houses. Nice place to live, like I say, there's local shops, 
Hyde Park is around the corner, probably about ten minute ten minute walk away, I'd say. Anyway, that's it for today. Like I said, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.